Okay, so this like shipped insanely fast. This came all the way from Germany um, within like the week, which is crazy. I wasn't expecting it to be here for like a couple weeks. So this is the ICT shift knob. I got the illuminated version. And this is going to be replacing the old shifter. Now, uh, this leather is actually relatively new. It's only um, it's only about a couple years old. Um, Mike, the previous owner of this car, replaced this. Well, he had it in San Diego. But the Arizona heat has just... It's completely shrunk the leather. And now this... It won't even stay around this plastic clip ring here. So... Uh, I'm not 100% sure on how to install this. It comes with um, a new set of bushings, and I'm hoping that will eliminate a lot of that weird... It's the, it's the like, washer noise from the bearing kit that's on there, but even, like, the stock shifter linkage rattles like crazy. So I'm hoping that this will at least eliminate some of that noise. Um, so I'm going to do my best to install this. Obviously, the first things are going to be to pull out the ashtray. The cigarette light is what we're going to be using to tie in for the lighting. Brown is always ground. And then we just need to get power. Uh, you just pop this clip ring up. And that's about as easy as that to pull this shifter off. There's this wire snap on there there's two little grooves that this sits in you just push on it and that comes out i'll set that in there for now and then there's the two bushings so i'm just gonna ow pull that off and the next step is going to be to pull this one off and then we're going to install the bushings that come on this thing but i need to go back and look up some photos and see which way is the correct way to install it so let me do that real quick okay there's like really no <laughs> uh, installation instructions that i could find at least not for the 944 but long story short um these just slide on fairly easy the way the similar to how the other bushings install um i can already tell it's probably not going to eliminate that much noise because the bearings underneath uh are what are going to be making all that racket but seems uh that they don't want you to run the wires through them because they go around so you just make sure that this is orientated correctly and just slip it on i guess oh yeah and there we go so looks like i have a little bit of a ways to go i'm gonna get this pressed on as far down as i can and we'll go from there so it came with this little allen key um and i think that's just universal i think they just throw that in there because there were no bolts or anything that came with this this pretty much works just like the stock shifter it just slides on those things and that actually that doesn't look too bad that looks pretty dang factory to me so i'm pretty happy with that so all i gotta do now is just get it wired in and i'll take it for a drive okay so the next thing to do here is you can see i snip the brown wire is always ground and i snipped one of the positive leads going to the bulb i figured it would be easier than trying to get all this heat shrink off and then preserving the bulb housing i've reconnected this just touched them together to make sure that the bulb still works and i've touched the uh, leads coming off of this to make sure that the lighting in here still works and it is all good so the next thing i need to do is simply attach these all together just a quick bit of solder a little bit of heat shrink and this should be good to go i'm going to leave all this extra length of wire on there so that there's move uh, there's movement within them just to give me some extra play so let me get that done real quick and then i'm going to come back with everything all finished up remember brown always ground red and any other color and these things is usually positive okay just a quick test video to show you a flip on the lights cage culture lights come on and gear knob lights up of course i went with blue to match everything else in the car 
there you go. Okay, just like that. She's in. Now the wiring has been heat shrinked and protected. The ashtray just pops back in. I gotta say, the shifter feels really good. So I think I'll go take it for a drive and just see how it feels and go from there. The boot fit really well too. Uh, there was plenty of extra material to slide over, but it's still snug. It's elastic, so it kind of grabs the frame, but there's still plenty of extra material to go all the way around, so it's not slipping and sliding everywhere. So I'm excited. I'm going to go take it for a short drive, and I'll give my final thoughts on it. Okay, just some quick final thoughts here after the drive. It actually did eliminate a lot of the noise uh, that was coming through the old shifter. The boot fits great. Uh, the lighting looks really good. It matches everything else in here. The shipping was insanely fast. It is a little pricey. It's about 190 bucks. That's what it totaled out to for me. Um, I can't really think of anything else to say, honestly. It's quick install. And for anyone who says that this is ricey, it came out of Stuttgart. So, win, 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 win. As far as I'm concerned, I wanted to shoot this video in a little bit lower light just so that you could kind of get a better idea of the uh, the lighting on the shifter there. You can see the cigarette lighter light still works. It's always kind of been tough to see in there. But um, yeah, that's all I got, man. I think for anyone who's looking for a shifter and if you don't want to go to the factory one, this is totally a great option. And I think it totally fits the style of the rest of the car it doesn't really take away from anything and it's nice and subtle so yeah another one in the bag thanks for watching guys see you in the next one